New tonight, a 16-year-old girl who survived an accidental shooting faces a long road to recovery. Yeah, Michaela Marker was hit in the arm, but her father says it could have been a deadly shot. Jim Spiewak is live in Salt Lake City tonight, and the shooting happened in Vernal, but this girl spent the majority of the week right here in Salt Lake City. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Heidi. She was up here at Primary Children's having surgery on that arm. Her father tells me she's still in a lot of pain just a couple days after this accident, after this incident, but she still has her arm tonight, and she also still has her life. She's very unique, you know. She's an amazing kid. 16-year-old Michaela Marker loves the outdoors, and her father, John Marker, says early Monday morning, she was at a friend of a friend's house with her boyfriend on the couch playing on her phone. One kid just picked it up and decided he was going to put it in holster, and it went off. It went off, went through his hand and shot across the room into her arm. A hollow point bullet from a 45 caliber handgun shattered a bone in her arm. It scared us to death. You know, we didn't know what to expect at the time. There's no emotions that compare you for that. I was one livid and scared at the same time, you know? Doctors put a metal plate and six screws in her forearm, and they closed her up with 16 staples. She's doing the best she can with it. She's, that's a long road to recovery. You're not prepared for something like that. You know, as a father, you're not thinking, oh, this could happen. You don't think like that. John says he feels he knows his daughter and her friends really well, but he had no idea she was with someone Monday that had a gun. And John says this experience is a reminder for parents to stay involved in their kids' lives. Know them, know their friends, know what they're doing, know what they do, know what their hobbies are. Michaela's main focus now, besides her recovery, is to advocate for gun safety. Treat a gun like it's loaded at all times. Always have the safety on. It's not a toy, and people should understand that. Tonight, Michaela is at home recovering, and she's going to be back here in Salt Lake in about two weeks here at the hospital to see if she needs another surgery. As you can imagine, the family's already incurring a lot of medical bills, so if this is something that you would like to try to help this family out, there is a fundraising account that I've linked in this story over on our website, KUTV.com. We're live in Salt Lake tonight, Jim Spiewak, KUTV 2 News.